Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you here once again. Yesterday, Starship testing resumed at the Starbase launch site in South Texas, following a several-week break. In my previous video, I mentioned that S-26 was undergoing a cryogenic test in preparation for an upcoming static fire test. However, the recent test showed that only the main LOX tank and header LOX tank were filled with liquid nitrogen, and it didn't even reach the halfway point. While it's unclear what SpaceX was specifically testing for, the entire process lasted for approximately one and a half hours. Let's wait and see how SpaceX plans to proceed with further testing on this particular Starship. Earlier on the same day, SpaceX Three, completed yet two, another successful mission one, by launching ignition. its 71st mission of the year. And lift off. Go Falcon 9, go Starlink Group 7-4, go SpaceX. The Starlink 7-4 mission was launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC-4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California at 12.43 a.m. Pacific Time. It's incredible to witness how routine it has become for SpaceX to launch and land rockets. Stage 1 landing link deploy. Booster B-1063 accomplished its 14th successful landing. Stage 1 landing confirmed. Shortly before the Starlink 7-4 launch, the Starlink 622 mission from SLC-40 was scrubbed due to high upper-level winds. Countdown. Hold, hold, hold. Launch port is running. The teams are now working on rescheduling the launch, as they shift their focus to NASA's Psyche mission, set to launch on Thursday. The Psyche mission, aimed at exploring and studying a metal-rich asteroid named Psyche, will ride atop SpaceX's most powerful, flight-proven Falcon Heavy rocket from Pad 39A. This marks the fourth Falcon Heavy mission of the year out of the five planned launches, and I'll be live-streaming the launch right here on the channel. So, make sure to subscribe and join us for the stream on Thursday morning. That wraps it up for this video. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more updates in our next video.